Welcome to Own Coffee. And my guest today is uh, Professor Diana Romero, uh, who is uh, editor in chief of Nature Reviews Clinical Oncology. Uh, Professor Romero, it's my honor to have you on Own Coffee. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, so, uh, our first question will be uh, What role does coffee have in your life? Well, I, I, if I had not my coffee every morning, I don't know what I would achieve. I am a bit addicted, I must confess. Yes. So we all, all of us, yeah. Yeah, it's addicted. So cheers. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so uh, I have to ask, how is it to be uh, editor-in-chief of Nature Reviews Clinical Oncology? Because that's a huge role, I guess. <laughs> It's a big responsibility, that's for sure, because we know many people trust the journal. So that is responsibility. At the, thing, at the same time, it's something that I'm very proud of. And it's, I mean, here you see only me, but this is teamwork. So there's a team of editors, there's three of us, and then there's a lot of people supporting us. Uh, our art editors, production editors. So it's teamwork. It's never boring because the decisions are never the decision of one editor. It's things that we discuss among ourselves. And I don't know if you are familiar with the journal. We cover such a variety of topics that we are very lucky because we can learn many important things about all key areas in oncology. Yeah, that's great. I imagine that's uh, really difficult work and without a team, it wouldn't be uh, possible. Uh, Dr. Romero, could you please uh, walk uh, on for your path, like how you uh, came to become a, a editor-in-chief of nature? Yes, yeah, so my, my training is, uh, my degree is in biochemistry. When I did preclinical research on cancer, so I was certainly, from my experience, I was certainly worried about what is the difference in biology that turns our non-malignant cells into a, a fatal disease. And I was inter interested in that, but at some point I wanted to see beyond my experiment. I wanted to learn from what other people do. So I had the opportunity to talk to other Uh, professionals and I saw that people who work in editing in publishing they have uh, greater access to more topics because you see topics every day you don't need to specialize on something so I moved to nature reviews clinical oncology I started as an associate editor and I had no previous experience but we have very good training on the job it's amazing you learn everything almost from scratch with your colleagues. So again, teamwork is super important. And then there was an opportunity when the uh, chief editor, the previous one, uh, Lisa Hutchinson, she moved on to different career path. So she, she left the journal and that was my opportunity to, to apply. That's yeah. great. Uh, I have to ask, what is the most common mistake authors are doing and that they shouldn't do that? They have to avoid it. Sometimes they think we can read their mind. So they write something that they already know about it and they don't provide all the details. But if I don't know why you did the study, because it was not my idea to do that study, you need to convince me why you did the study. And you can only do that with your words. I cannot read your mind. That's great. Thank you so much. And our last question, uh, what would you suggest uh, to our listeners? Uh, most of them are young oncologists and uh, medical students. Uh, any advice for them? I would say read a lot, definitely. Uh, knowing the literature is important. And there will be so many papers that you cannot read yourself. So discuss papers with your peers. I know you're, you're very busy. There's many things to do. But if you had time to discuss a paper from time to time with a colleague, there's always a lot to learn from that. Thank you so much. And thank you for being in All Coffee. It was my honor. Thank, thank you for you. watching and keep the coffee brewing. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.